What's going on YouTube, GSN right here, so in today's video I have very good news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12 jailbreak and possibly 11.4.x as well, however please do not update the iOS 12.x just yet. So as I said, this video is going to contain quite a lot of good news for the jailbreak community, however do not update to iOS 12.1.2 or 12.1.1 for the moment, stay on the lowest version you're at. I just wanted to make this clear right from the bat, so just a few hours ago, sorry my bad, a security researcher has posted quote update i will release information once the patch release please note that this bug is still not fixed in the latest ios version now 12.1.2 i think because the vocation of christmas and new year please wait on the other hand this bug can work under a12 now this is actually a continuation from this post in here which says quote will be release information after fix if you want to research iphone state 12.1 this has been posted back in november but apparently apple did not manage to patch it yet so that's why it wasn't released during this time and he made an update today and he said that he will release it after it's being patched but as of ios 12.1.2 this hasn't been patched yet now of course if you go ahead in here there is another tweet that he uh, pretty much mentions and it's this one in here from back in november which says quote successfully exploit again 360 security gained full access to iphone 10 through a type confusion git bug in safari and the use after free bug in ios kernel it's the first iphone jailbreak record in pawn content in the world, winning the highest reward of Tainfu Cup at Sorry My Bad. So Sorry My Bad pretty much found this bug and exploited it during this competition here Tainfu Cup and he was awarded the highest reward for it because he achieved a jailbreak on the iPhone 10. Now today I asked him whether this is going to provide the kernel task port or TFP0. If you remember the kernel task port is very important and exploits that do give out the kernel task port have been used to create the Electra jailbreak of course for the iOS 11 and iOS 11.3.1 and the entire range in between and of course the uncovered jailbreak liber ios jailbreak and my osiris jailbreak as well which was built on top of AMBR's exploit which does provide the kernel task port so definitely an important component and of course follow up to my question in here sorry my bad says absolutely yes this will indeed give the kernel task port which is a very important thing for us now of course as saigusa says in here quote tfp0 is not the end of the game heh <laughs> even more so so for the A12. So yes, the A12 devices, ARM V8.3 instruction set, are definitely not going to be very happy with this because judging by the tweet made by Sorry My Bad, this may not be compatible with A12 devices but with older ones, you know, below A12. So yeah, this may not be very useful for the A12 devices. But in case of the uh, pre-A12 devices, this does give a huge leap in my opinion in the jailbreak community. Now, of course, this hasn't been drama free. Now, just a few hours ago, I Crack Your Eye device made a video in which he pretty much said that uh, the kernel task port cannot be used to do anything but reads from the memory, which is definitely not true. He also said that my claims are incorrect and I'm spreading misinformation because I said that an exploit that gives out the kernel task port can be used for a jailbreak for the iOS 12, which can actually be used for a jailbreak on pre-A12 devices. And then, of course, when I provided him the proof that my claims are actually correct uh, from a book by Jonathan. Jonathan Levin, he pretty much blocked me on Twitter. Yeah, marvelous. Now, if you go ahead and read Jonathan Levin's book called Star OS Internals Security and Insecurity Volume 3, in the book you can find the table 13.2, and before that you have this in here which says, quote, once arbitrary kernel read and write abilities can be reliably and safely obtained, the jailbreak is pretty much done. Likewise, malware can achieve total system compromise. Over the years, many clever methods to patch have been devised by jailbreakers, with additional patches being provided as Apple added corresponding security measures. And then of course in the uh, table in here, the very first patch we have is task for PAD0, which says, quote, access kernel task from user mode, greatly simplifies jailbreak kernel operations and nice to have for advanced researchers or malware. So yeah, definitely having the kernel task port allows you to both do reads and writes to the kernel, not only reads, and of course it's an important component. EMBeer's exploits for the iOS 11.3.1, iOS 11 and so on pretty much provide the kernel task port after the exploit ran. From that point we take the kernel task port and we apply our patches. For iOS 12 however, there is truth in the fact that it's not everything that is needed in order to create a jailbreak. We still need to figure out some patches and NullPix11 
Mitchell says in here, quote, reminder, iOS 12 introduces new security mechanisms that I have previously discussed briefly. TFP0 is not the end of the game this time, since post-exploitation will need changing. And yes, this is actually correct because of the core trust which has been introduced and possibly other things as well. And I never said that TFP0 creates the full jailbreak, but it's a very important component since once you have the kernel task port, you're pretty much able to perform any reads and writes to the kernel that you may need. And from that point you can develop your patches. Now what is this kernel task port and why do we need it and what is the task for the AD0 patch? Now if you go into the source code of the um, XNU kernel, you have in here Darwin XNU by Apple on GitHub, you have of course the BSD, VM which is virtual memory, and you have VMUnix.c. Inside the VMUnix.c there is a function that is called task for PID. It's not this one in here, it's not that one in there, it's not this one in here either, it's this one in here. So the return type is current return t and it says task for PID. Now if you take a look in here there is the whole function and it has quite some checks. If you look in here one of the checks is if PID is zero then do some stuff and return current failure. Now what this does is to prevent you from getting the task port of the kernel because the kernel has the PID zero or process ID zero. And as you can see when you call this function you have to pretty much specify specify a struct containing the arguments and one of the arguments is the PID or the process ID for which you want the task port. However, there is a check in here which ensures that whatever you do, you do not request the kernel task port because the uh, kernel PID is PID zero. It's the process zero in the system. So yeah, this check in here pretty much makes the function to return a failure every time you call it so that we wouldn't be able to, you know, request the kernel task port. What the TFP0 patch does, or indeed did in previous jailbreaks, is to pretty much patch out this in here so that we no longer have the check and we can get the kernel task port. Also other things have been patched down below in the function but what we're interested in is this in here which is the uh, check for PID0. So this is why it's important if we can return the kernel task port we can do arbitrary read and write to the kernel memory and therefore apply patches. Yes this is definitely not all we need for a jailbreak on iOS 12 but it's a very huge step ahead. Unfortunately not for the A12 devices. So the latest devices, nope. Yeah, this is very much it guys. I really hope this clarified everything. Do not update to iOS 12.x yet. Stay on the version you're at. There is nothing clear for the moment. We have to first see the actual exploit to be able to tell what it can do and what it cannot, but do not update for the moment. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.